Taurus! What is going on, my dears? Listen, they won't ignore us. Listen. <clears throat> It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vira, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, just in time to let you know what the energies are surrounding you around February 2021. Baby, we're here to have fun. I hope all of you guys are feeling fine and festive and beautiful this morning. Alrighty, alrighty, alright. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies who have liked, shared, and subscribed. And click this video, okay? What's going on with you, boo? Alright, if there's anyone who would like to um, book a personal or private reading or just want to send some love to the page, um, check out the description in this video or check out the bio slash the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives you the various forms to communicate with me. The best method is to send me a message on Instagram Messenger. If you don't have Instagram Messenger, just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com. Only do video readings on Instagram, um, on the Instagram Messenger. So if you don't have Instagram Messenger, um, email me again at scorpionraisergmail.com. I'll get y'all hooked up on Google Hangouts. It's um, a really good app. I like to use it because the only information that we have to exchange is our email address in order for us to do the video chat for your reading. So again, um, email me if you do not have Instagram and if you would like to book a personal or private reading, okay? Taurus, you already know how we're going to do it. So you know how we're going to get into it. We're going to give Father God the universe, you know whatever you want to call him, praise and thanks before we get into any energy today. So just bow your heads with me and let's say a quick prayer. Father God, thank you so much for just bringing us together today. Thank you so much for filling us up with love, filling us up with positive energy, Father God. We're feeling blessed and highly favored, Father God. We are just here to find out the energies that are surrounding us in February 2021 for the sign of Taurus. Father God, they can't ignore us. Father God, we are shining. We are beaming like the brightest star that you can ever see thus far, Father God. So we're just going to stay in this energy and we're just going to maximize all of our potential to get every single thing that we're trying to achieve during this season, Father God. So just please give us the energy and the guidance that we need during this time to just keep up the momentum and just keep the faith and the belief in the worthiness that, you know, we are most worthy of all of the blessings that are coming in our life in the name of Jesus. So give us guidance today for my sign of Taurus in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, hold on, shalala, shalala, okay, come on, shalala, okay, <laughs> so, hold on now, yes indeed, oh yes indeed, but that hazelnut, come on now, so let's get into this energy for my beautiful, beautiful Taurus, we want to bring out the love oracle cards, let's see what we got for you guys. of love energy are you guys in for February okay I don't know about this song Ooh. Mr. No Stress Van Ness y'all know I love him with the nipples out Mr. No Stress Van Ness <laughs> Oh, I love Mr. No Stress Van Ness. He says, a little beer pomenade will take you to the next level. This sofa has lived its best life, but now it's got to go. There is no such thing as too much of your beautiful face, Henny. Okay. The, I love this card because he said that this sofa has seen its best life but now it's gotta go that's where you know too many people don't had their fair share of being able to rest and get comfort off of you you know or just like being able to sit in your lap almost because you know like that you know someone's sitting on you so i don't know if it's just uh, uh, it's just like someone just got some old energy too many people been sitting here it done it's done seen its best days. It gotta go. Like, sometimes you just tired of old furniture. Have you ever been, like, through a relationship or just, like, a breakup or something? And it's like, I don't want... You might not have been able to get rid of the house, but I can get rid of every damn thing in it. I don't want nothing in there with that old energy that reminds me of that relationship. So, it's just like someone getting rid of all of the 
furniture just like all of the old things it's just like it's gotta go it represents my past it doesn't represent my future i just need complete new energy in here no stress vaness you know and to me it's basically telling me with this there is no such thing as too much of your beautiful face henny like and a little beer pomade will take you to the next level like this person right here is most definitely tired of the old coming in with the new there's something here that has his attention big time big time and he's thinking about how to go to the next level and again he's trying to let his titty show so he's trying to let it <laughs> he's trying to let it all come out he's trying to let it hang out so i just feel especially whoever's in this energy is just being naturally them like whatever it feels at the time whatever the vibe is like that's what you're showing at that time you're not hiding yourself you're going forward you stepping out straight up like that you going to the next level you definitely don't want anything from the past oh what is this confidence didn't i tell you confidence like you guys are very confident in yourself and i don't know if there's anybody in the lgbt community like you guys might be like really confident in yourself you may be coming out you're definitely letting your little uh flag show like you to listen <laughs> if you ain't seen me before you gonna see me now so shout out to everybody in the lgbt community like come on let all of them beautiful colors hang baby let it show all right so we're gonna bring it back on in it says the divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of ego you make space for something larger to take hold please fill me with your confidence oh love grant me courage i never knew i had again divine confidence is completely different from the bravado of the ego you make space for something larger to take hold please fill me with your confidence oh love grant me courage i never knew i had so again i don't know if there's like someone that's about to have like this coming out experience or something like that i'm definitely getting that but aside from that it's some body and a masculine energy that i'm definitely getting here it's like they may be over like the player lifestyle like too many people done been over and done sat on that couch done sat on this person's lap <laughs> like you know i need a different vision a different like purpose you know like i may only have one person in mind and i can't get enough of their face so it's not a constant need of a whole bunch of energy in and out taking seats finding comfort in your residence you know what i'm saying like you're very confident you feel like full of a lot of positive energy and i definitely feel like you are clearing space you know to for something way bigger way bigger to take hold of all of this positive energy like you are definitely confident right now and i'm fucking with it I'm fucking with it. And you know I call him Mr. No Stress Van. That's for a reason. You know, to Taurus, do not be about that stress. For real, for real. They like to chill. They like to chill. And especially in their home environment. <laughs> like, they want to literally be in a place where I could walk in, put on my slippers, put on my little, you know, sweatpants, walk around with my shirt off, like, kick back, watch me in a movie. Just no stress. No stress. Mr. Jonathan Van Ness. Come on, man. Changing your style up a little bit. Said his little beard pomade will take you to the next level. You got the two of voices here in the reverse. So this is basically telling me you're tired of sitting around. And because the two of voices, the two of swords to me is someone sitting back trying to like decide which way they're going to go they have two different avenues they may have two different people talking to them in their ear one person trying to pull them one way another person trying to pull them another way like you've already made your decision you getting up and you are like communicating how you feel in a, in a circumstance it's like there's no me receiving from both sides of the table like i'm tired of that shit <laughs> like i made my decision i'm speaking i'm making myself clear i really don't care about nobody's attitude it just is what it is give me guidance for my aries 
What is this? You got the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Things are going up for you, Aries. You feel like a lot of faded blessings are coming to you right now. What is this? You got the strength in the reverse. Hmm, there still may be some level of tox. Might might be some type of um toxation or addiction that you may still be struggling with. Clarify the strength in reverse. You got the tower. And then what is this? The queen of inspiration. The queen of wands in the reverse. So, hmm. Hmm. I feel like you guys are finally getting the confidence to really speak how you feel about a situation. You're tired of the running around in the back and forth, just like I said. New energy. New energy, like a brand new you. you exposing how you truly feel. Things are just kind of like moving in your favor at this time. You're not struggling over choices, but at the same time, there is something with this individual right here, this queen of wands, this queen of inspiration here that I want to say may be throwing you off a little bit. Um, you got the strength in reverse. I feel like this person could be your addiction. There could be some type of toxic relationship there. The tie word is like something unexpected. It's like a breakdown, like a tearing down if you will um because i it's this energy right here it, you're not strong enough to walk away from it it's like you give into it but at the same time there's still a very negative cause and effect of the connection of this energy and it's just like karmically it was a lesson it was a blessing in a lot of ways but it was a lesson for you to understand something. For you to like grow. In some ways like you guys were supposed to help each other achieve something. But if y'all are struggling with that. Then it's like it got to come down. And you might have to start that lesson. Not you might have to start that lesson over again. It's like you're having to start that lesson again. But I feel that. Naturally, you've come to this decision. Things have come. Things have come and gone, and that things have come and gone in this situation where naturally you seen that it was going to be destroyed anyway. I definitely feel like you're making that own decision because you feel that this Queen of Wands is your weakness. This could be an Aries. This could be a Leo or a Sagittarius female. Um, this woman may use her sexual abilities and her skills and her beauty and everything for wrong reasons it's like she knows how to suck you in she knows if she wears that that it's going to make you weak <laughs> you know what i'm saying that it's going to make you weak there may be some type of sexual hold that someone has on you just like mentally like you can't see yourself without this person but at the same time like the queen of wands can very much so be like a hot tempered female um it's like the queen of inspirations if you look at her as someone that inspires it's like there's really no inspiration that's coming out of this thing it's more of uh, drama and arguments and gossip and hearsay and blah 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 like you know that's what wands are about you know it's a eh. It could be a lot of argumentative energy there. A lot of spicy fighting and things. It's like very passionate arguments. A very passionate sexual makeups. Like that makeup to breakup type of saga thing. And it's. If that's what you like it's cool. But it's like. It's really abusive like when you look at it. When you look at it. You know it's like. You want to argue with me any other time. But when you want to have sex with me. You know what to do to kind of like pull me in and to allure me and it's like this can't keep going on like this especially with this will of fortune in the upright it's like so many powerful and amazing things are coming into your life it's like you're having to on your own make a decision because you see you see the natural <laughs> you see the chaos you see where it's going do you understand what i'm saying so it's like 
you may not you have may already made the decision to kind of walk away anyway so when this tower happens I don't think that you're going to have too much of a problem, you know, because you've already come to come to terms about this situation. You're in your confidence. You realize that this is your weakness. This thing, it, it <laughs> like, listen, give me guidance here and love for my Aries. Oh, Lord Jesus, I say Aries. For my, I, this could be an Aries. <laughs> Oh my Taurus. Oh my goodness. Because the queen of inspiration in the reverse could most definitely be an Aries Leo, a Sagittarius woman. Give me guidance and love for Taurus. Give me three more cards, please. Addiction. Ooh, see? And that came in the reverse. Let me take that in the reverse. Let me take that in the reverse. The key on the brain. Listen, to I like you. That was in the reverse. <laughs> Ooh, child, cheese. Let me tell you. So again, like a key on the ring to me. This is like an option. Like many. This is many options. A decision. Unconventional. String along a one night stand. This is like allowing people to just easily gain access to you with no intention of staying kind of put. It's like this person has entry access to a lot of different places. Again, like I said, this sofa has lived its best life. You know, like a fluctuation of different people, of different energies, taking a seat, having a chance to have access to an environment. I like you was in the reverse. So this is someone coming to terms and it's just saying like, it's like I want to take my key back. I want to take my, I want to take my key back. I like, I want you out of my house. I want you out of my, my state of comfort and, and, and this is where I belong, but it may not be where you belong. I don't necessarily think I like you like that. Like, the wheel is turning in my favor and it's like I'm feeling very confident. I'm tired of arguing with you. You're beautiful, but you're not that beautiful for me to put up with that type of shit. Like, I'm good, you know. And I, I, I understand that uh, you have some type of power over me. That's some negative shit. And I'm not really fucking with that. So, like, if God is just... Look, look. I feel like this palm tree in the reverse is like uncovering something. It's like no shade, you know? It is no shade, but like you. It's like someone using a whole bunch of mascara, makeup, like fake hair, a whole bunch of shit to over glamorize or to, to hide something. Like this could be. A very beautiful shell of a person, but they could be a nasty individual, like a, a narcissist, narcissist or something like that. Like this person could be like very much so full of their self and very beautiful, but with like a nasty spirit. Um, mm, like it's kind of like a little whole energy too, because I'm getting a like, I'm getting a lot here. I'm getting a lot. And it's no shade. It's no shade, but it is it's true tea. It's a stability, security, prominence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So this is like in the reverse here. Stability. There's no stability or security there. Like, come on. And then you got the addiction in the reverse. Remember, I was telling you with the strength of reverse, I'm telling you this is someone that has like some type of sexual connection that is very addictive and it's like it's hard for them to walk away from this woman because this person has like a specific pull on this person give me one more card for my Taurus right there in the middle one more card for my Taurus in regards to this love situation thank you so much looks like Taurus has made a decision Taurus is, is, is aware like they, they very much so know listen not enough so, like, there's not enough love in this connection for, you know, you know, Taurus is aware. Like I said, 
frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, fear slash ego issues, jealousy. Like I told you, it's too much drama. It's too much drama. Like it could be two people that are connected to each other to feed each other's egos or, you know, have you ever been in a relationship? And then you see the two of voices here. So this is a male energy that it's like, I'm tired of allowing like good people to walk away from me because I'm dealing with this and I'm dealing with that. Or I'm you know what I'm saying? Like I need to just slow down and make one soul solidary choice and get up off my ass and walk into my future like a true fucking boss with some confidence and like, listen. I'm going to give my key to one person. Like, everybody don't need to have access. Like, this is too, you know what I'm saying? It's a it's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of stuff going on. Now, with this wheel going right here next to this keys on the ring, this is telling me that you're having a lot of blessed opportunities and a lot of fortunate advances in life. So, when those doors come, you got to be prepared to open them. You got to be prepared to open them. You can't be... Getting bored in by a whole bunch of drama because you're going to miss the boat. And this is not even a, a or like or love situation. Like this is purely sex. Like I told you, there's a lot of frustration in here. It's just it's not enough love for this to remain stable. It's already telling you there's no stability there. I feel like this person be running around. He's probably running around too probably lost a lot of decent people because of this connection here and this person is finally like feeling confident like listen i'm not even about to fake this shit i'm about to just come out and just be me do what i want to do and it's like i gotta work past this addiction i don't want to it's like i don't want to be caught up in this anymore so it's like God may be stepping in and just naturally just destroying or moving something out of your way so you don't have to struggle with the, you know, you don't have to struggle with the abuse, self-abuse and, you know, outside. That is too much. Really? Really now? Okay. You're doing a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. You got the emperor in the reverse. So the emperor in the reverse, that's the Taurus. But this is someone that does have self-control issues. Um, they may thrive on power. Um, yeah, it's like this is someone. It's like this person could create a lot of drama to stroke or feed their ego. And don't want to take any responsibility for it. Don't want to have any recognition for what they chose for the decisions that they chose for the things that they done like this is someone that wants a position of hierarchy but doesn't want to work for it it's like they want to sit on a throne but want everybody else to do the work um want everybody else to fight their battles like it's everybody else's fault or something like that and it's like People are constantly feeding this energy here. You got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this person could be broke. This person could be unemployed, pentiless. Um, can have a lot of responsibility, like a lot of kids that they're not getting up off their ass, helping. Like it could be the financial brunt and burden of like the household and things that the emperor should be in charge of can be put on the woman, you know. So, like, this isn't a very fruitful energy here that I'm getting right now. This is not a very fruitful energy that, that I'm getting right now. You got the magician in the reverse. So, this is someone that could be using their skills, their looks, their abilities, their gifts. So, it's like this person... It's like brute. Why I'm getting brute strength, and in some way I'm I am getting like a level of um, aggressiveness or something. It's like I don't know why I feel like this person likes fighting or this person likes arguing or 